Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel that is AirTech. Hope you all guys are having a fantastic day. Let us begin with our today's video. So our today's video is going to be very important because in this video we are going to discuss is TCS slowly becoming a support slash BPO company. Okay, the reason that we are making this video is that we have been receiving a lot of comments on YouTube and a lot of messages in Telegram group. Okay, for those of you who don't know, we have a Telegram group for TCS and Infosys employees wherein you can go and you can ask different questions related to TCS, Infosys, whatever issues you are facing. Okay, and other members or including me, we will be answering that questions for you guys. Okay, so I will give the link in the description. You can go and join the Telegram group. Now coming back to the topic of our today's video, TCS is totally becoming a support BPO company. The reason we are making this video is that lot of people in Telegram group, okay, and as well as in the YouTube comments have been asking us questions that we have been allocated to support level projects and wherein we just have to raise tickets, we have to solve these doubts, these queries, okay, we have to reply to the customer or we have to fetch some data from the database and then reply, uh, give it back to the customer, okay, and things like this, okay. So a lot of people are getting projects in, uh, in this category, okay, support projects. There are very few development projects, very few uh, good learning opportunity projects in TCS, okay. So we are going to explain everything in detail about this. Okay, and why TCS is losing uh, its competitive mode compared to other companies. Okay, there are various different companies in the market right now. Okay, I'll explain everything about that as well. Okay, now we will also discuss the new deal that was signed recently. Okay, that is a Tata Nvidia deal. Okay, when I mean TCS, I mean Tata. Okay, Tata Nvidia deal, what exactly they are going to plan and what exactly they, they are going to do. Okay. So let us begin with our today's video. Now guys, before moving forward, I have a small humble request. Please, please, please like this video and share it with your friends for the people who are working at TCS and who are going to join TCS as well. Okay, so this is very important guys. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Okay, you will get regular updates about the videos, the trends in the IT market, what exactly is happening in the IT industry and overall perspective of the IT industry. If you have any questions, please ask in the comment section. We will happily answer all your questions. Let us begin. Now, the first question arises is that TCS is losing its competitive mode and becoming a BPO company. The reason is very simple. What happened? I'll tell you about, about TCS. Okay. In the mid 80s and 90s, you'll find that in the 80s and 90s decade, TCS was on boom. Okay. The Indian IT industry till 2005, 2008, it was on boom. There were no computers for TCS uh, except for TCS and some uh, Infosys and some other companies. Okay. But TCS was the king and it was ruling the overall the Euro, uh, European as well as the North American IT market. Okay. And that is the reason why TCS had had a lot of developers and that is the reason why a lot of companies were giving all the uh, contracts, all the uh, client, all the works, development of uh, uh, projects, okay, everything to TCS. Okay. Now what has happened right now? Okay. I'll tell you. Okay. So there were many BPO companies existing in India. Okay. So if you look at the top uh, companies in the world in terms of BPO, okay, that, that include WNS, okay, Genpact, uh, Wipro, okay, HGS and EXL and then again Infosys BPO. So all these companies are the top BPO companies, uh, support level companies in the world. Okay. Now is TCS slowly transitioning to that phase? Okay. Why? Because TCS had a moat. Okay. TCS had the top developers uh, from in, in 1980s, 1990s, 2010, okay, till 2020. And what was happening was TCS was continuously developing new, new applications, new, new technologies. But right now people think that there is a stagnation in TCS's growth. Okay. The simple reason is because of these companies. Okay. So there are multi and many other companies who are included in this modern uh, companies, which are using modern technology, modern AI, machine learning, and a lot of other things, automations. Okay. Uh, there is KPID, there is Coforce, there is LNT Mindtree, there is persistent systems, there is Hexaware, Emphasis, Happiest Minds. Okay. So all these new age companies, they are having new developers, new skills, okay, new uh, technologies. And that is the reason they are getting a competitive edge over all the computer competitors such as Infosys, TCS, Cognizant, Capgemini, okay, and Wipro. So that is the reason why all these new new companies, they are getting new new contracts, okay, for development of new applications and new technologies. Okay. And that is the reason why a uh, lot of people feel that TCS is losing its competitive mode. Okay. Now let us look at the latest update about the Tata and Nvidia. Okay. So the US chip giant Nvidia announced a collaboration with Tata Group to deliver computing infrastructure and platforms for developing AI, that is artificial intelligence based solutions. 
okay and one more important update is that nvd and tata group okay that means tcs will also have a majority of chunk work in this uh, collaboration okay nvd and tata group will also work together to build an ai supercomputer guys they are going to build an ai supercomputer powered by the next gen nvidia gh200 grace hopper super chip okay this partnership will also catalyze the ai led transformation across tata group companies ranging from manufacturing to consumer business nvidia stated in a said in a statement okay so this was the latest update about the tata nvidia deal and that is the reason why tata also has uh, some good partnerships lined up and that is the reason why a lot of people still believe in tata and there is def definitely this debate whether you should join tata uh, tcs or not this will go on and on we want to know your comments about this deal okay guys what do you feel will tcs really transition towards the bpo or service based or support based projects and the support based company or it will it will like break the wall and it will again come back as the leader of the it market do let us know in the comment section what do you feel about this uh, this uh, point okay so guys thank you so much for watching this video hope you like this video share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel till then keep watching and keep learning